In terms of setting up consignment products, this one's actually pretty cool because it helps you um, report on what you need to pay out. So I have um, a couple consignments off the top of my head. This is one of them. Yeah, so um, what we recommend is actually setting up your supplier as the consignee, so the person that you're going to be paying out. So you go ahead and you set up your product as standard. Um, give it maybe a product tag consignment. I do also sometimes recommend um, setting up behind the supplier name. So say if I just wanted to kind of edit this, I could uh, say that my supplier is the consignee. So Ashley Cooley actually is the person that um, gets a payout when this when this product is sold. And I add maybe two asterisks behind the supplier name. Um, you could fill out the brand if it's a little bit different or if it's handmade, it would be um, Ashley Cooley again. Um, and then the supply price portion. So this, um, the math behind the kind of markup percentage is going to be different, but what you're going to do is you're going to create the supply price as a placeholder to know what you need to pay out for this retailer. So um, a consignee says that this, this item that I make retails at 195, but I'm going to make 60% uh, or 40%. Sorry, my math, it's, it's still a bit early here. Uh, what is... 60% of 195. Don't have a calculator at my desk. Okay, yeah, so 40%. Um, so you calculate manually what 40% of 195 is, and then you use the supply price portion to, um, to, to store this data. So you'll notice the market percent says this is 150, but that's because the math behind it is different. So I'm just using this as a spot that I can keep track of what I need to pay out when this item sells. So then you go ahead and you set it up as normal. And what this means is when you're selling these products, you still do have to manually track um, either bi-weekly or monthly um, a sales report to see um, how many you've sold. But if I sell my Picard jacket, done. My, my report might be a little bit wacky because I've changed the supplier name, but at least I can show you. Jump over to my sales reports. I'm going to choose the report type by supplier and revenue. And you can see here that because I've sold this item, I sold it at 195, but this cost of goods is what I need to pay out to my consignee. Um, so yeah, you can see the margin there. It calculates it 60% that I made. So 40% goes to Ashley. Um, I've sold it a few other times. So you can see that there's actually some, a couple of sales here. But yeah, the, the asterisk helps you know that it's a consignee. And then a supplier report helps you um, check in the cost of goods, what you need to pay out. So yeah, that's my recommendation there. You can still probably do it with those SKUs. And if you want, you can navigate over to setup and, uh, and reconfigure the SKUs when they get out of sequence. But yeah, maybe something to look at.